guest of the week. It wow. is UFC lightweight Tony Ferguson, El Kakui. Ferguson, how are you? Good. How are you guys doing? Doing, uh, doing really well, man. Wondering, I got to be honest. Wondering when you're going to be fighting next. That's what's that's what's first and foremost on my mind. I want to know what you're doing. What is what is up with Tony Ferguson? When, where, and who will you be fighting next, man? Let's let's finally hear this. When? Well, check this out. Khabib Nurmagomedov is always on the radar. I always want to fight that fight because I think personally the fans deserve it. I mean, I'd be willing to put up with the training camp just to go and fight that dude straight out out of the gate. Um, you know, we offered the fight to him, and I don't know what his problem is, so we're still waiting on what he's got to say. But uh, it just seems like he doesn't want to fight, man. The top guy in the division that's supposed to be ranked number one doesn't want to fight a number two. It's kind of bullshit. Well, I got to ask you, Tony. I mean, obviously, you guys were supposed to fight in March. It didn't happen, and then for religious reasons, he uh, he doesn't fight in the, uh, he didn't want to fight in the summer. Can't fight in the summer. Um, so a lot of us were anticipating that, hey, if you didn't get a fight in the meantime, that yes, we would revisit this matchup. It would happen in the fall. But based on what you're putting out there on Twitter, you're you're willing to accept the fight October, November. So what what is the holdup? I know you said that you don't really know what it is, but what could it be? I mean, what what is holding up this fight at this point? Uh, he's got a, <laughs> I don't know. I can't, what, what day, what day is, what today is what, Tuesday? T- today is Tiramisu Tuesday. So he's got a fat, <laughs> he's got a fat problem, man. I mean, he's going around, he's enjoying himself. I get it, you know, but it, he's just, he's got a, he's got a bad habit of eating sweets and getting big and not having the discipline to lose it. Uh, if you're going to get that big, you, you got to have a discipline to be able to grind down, you know, no one to say no and, and kind of counter, counter, you know, your tokens before you fucking take the ride. Because if he's letting his body weight get up that high and he can't cut the weight, it's terrible for him. He needs to figure something out. Tony, are you, you know, sick of the are you sick of this whole Khabib saga? Like, are you just ready to say, can this fight happen already? Because I'm just sick and tired of this back and forth on social media and signing bout agreements and it not happening and postponements and all of this. Well, what do you guys think? I mean, what do the fans think? Are you guys tired of it yet? I mean, you guys seem kind of interested when I post out some Chairman Sue Tuesday. You know, some funnies out there, which is cool. I just want to I mean, see the fight. I, like, I, I'm, I'm sick of be like not, the fight not happening. I think is what I'm getting at. Yeah, absolutely. We're the. I mean, seriously, you're talking to the messenger. I'm telling you the same. I mean, I'm the one losing the weight. I'm the one going through the camps. You know, I'm the one. You know, making sure that I have everything in place to get this done. And I got knuckleheads that are supposed to be representing the best organization in the world, pissing on the company and pissing on his opponent by not making weight and not being professional. No, I don't care if it was management or whoever it was, but that was a team effort, team moment. I mean, am I willing to give him another chance? I mean, literally at this point, you have a Lee uh, Lee on Twitter arguing with the fighter, a manager arguing with the fighter. It's just just kind of a little bit nuts. I'm kind of like, dude, let Khabib talk for himself. I want to hear what he has to say. If he doesn't want to fight, I want to hear from his mouth. He's like, I don't want to fight. That's it. Okay, cool. Moving on. Who wants to fight for the interim belt? That's what I want to be interested in. I want to. I want to fight somebody that wants to be interested into it. I don't want no bullshit with it. Let's go. Yeah, and who Tony's referring to there is Ali Abdelaziz. He's the manager of Habib Nurmagomedov, and you know what you're what they're saying on Twitter though. Habib and Ali is that they do want the fight, and that. I mean, Habib has gone so far as to say it's his dream fight, Madison Square Garden in November, which you yourself have also put out there on Twitter, Madison Square Garden, November 4th. It sounds like you two are on the same page. So is, is what is happening? Is he saying some one thing publicly and then telling the UFC that, no, he can't be ready for November? Is that is that your understanding of it? I don't know. I'm just waiting for a bout agreement. That's what I know. I'm waiting for a bout agreement that says interim title fight. That's the one thing I care about right now. I'm staying in shape. I'm staying hungry with this stuff. Uh, I got my new squad with Black House. I used to go there part-time, but I'm trying to make it my full team, which is great. You know, you get some good work, man, working with these, these, other, these other people out there that, that, that come from different organizations, and you just get a different look. So I'm keeping fresh. I'm not getting, I'm not getting stale. I know the fans want to see me fight. I want to see me fight. But I'm picking up new tips, tricks, and, and new moves, man, which is dope. And... uh you know, it's really, uh, it's almost like going back to school. If these guys don't have time, I'm not going to sit around and, and get stale. I'm going to keep sharp. I'm going to make sure that my, my I'm going to stay sane. I'm going to make sure that my fight IQ is up to date. And I'm going to keep on track, man. Because these dudes can't beat me. If they don't want to fight, they're moving weights. And if they're talking, they're trying to pass me instead of fight me. But I'm right there, knee deep in the middle of everything. So 
like I said, if uh, Khabib and them, they want to do that Twitter bullshit, I mean, that's cool, man. But I'm about the fight. I'm about the fans. I'm about giving a good fight, not a lame-ass, not a lame-ass fight. I want a good fight, good five-rounder fight that's somebody that can actually last in the conditioning. So as of right now today, Tuesday of this week, you are what? You are waiting for Habib to to get a bout agreement to say that he'll fight you in November, or you are looking at other options? What, what is sitting here today? What what are you looking at in terms of your next fight? Well, I got options, man. I mean, literally, it's it's whatever I, we, my team thinks, and uh, you know, I talked to my wife, I talked to my management, and it's whatever is going to make sense. So I'm not going to sit around waiting for absolutely anybody, you know, just because they think that they deserve it. I'm going to, you know, I'm a company man, and what I do is, you know, I, I fight my ass up for whoever the opponent is. So at this point right now, I'm just getting ready for the fall. I'm getting ready for the fall, making sure that my weight's on point. I'm making sure that I'm going to watch the Maymac uh, fight. I'm going to keep up to date with that, see what he's going to do at 155. But in the meantime, I'm fighting for my belt, man. And one way or another, he's going to have to defend, defend a vacate. Yeah. And when you say fall, does that – include October and November, that's it? Are we One way or the other, are we going to see you, Tony Ferguson, fight in the UFC Octagon October or November, or is December a possibility? Absolutely. You fancy to get excited? I mean, I, I'm trying to, like, stay positive with this. I'm like, yeah, yeah, I get excited. It's hard when I don't have an opponent, you know? I mean, but who else is out there? I'm, I'm down to kick some ass. You guys know, I, I hate to talk in third person, but a Tony Ferguson fight is awesome. I had some cool comments from some of my fans that say, we don't even, you know, if our beer's empty, we don't even dare leave the screen because, you know, we know there's going to be something <laughs> cool. And I'm like, damn, that's awesome. That's how I want everybody want to be in one of my fights. I don't want anybody to, like, start booing or take out their phones and start playing. It was crazy. I was at the T. Woodley fight and the Damian Maya fight, and it was really, it was actually a really good fight. Um, T. Woodley defended a lot of shots. I mean, he, his game plan was to defend the shots and do all the stuff. But the fans in the crowd, they were crazy, dude. They started doing the wave. The whole entire like stadium started doing the wave. And then everybody took out their phones and they started shining the lights and crazy. I don't want that oh, to go on in my man. fight unless they're like unless they're going like, Yeah <laughs> That's what I want. I want them to start doing the wave and that kind of when I'm doing something cool. I mean that'd be badass. You know, Tony, you don't can I do that when somebody's booing. Can, can I ask you uh so October, November is interesting right now in the UFC because you have this, we just talked about this in, in, in the previous segment, uh, the October pay-per-view right now in Vegas doesn't really have any big names on it. So if a fight of yours were to land there, it could very well be either the main event or the co-main event. And then the next month you have MSG, which is looking to be absolutely stacked. Do you have a preference on which card you would rather be on? Absolutely not, because I'm always going to have the sunshine on my on my card, man. You guys know already, like if there, whatever the main event or whatever it is, I'm always going to go out there and give my best performance. So regardless of the location, that canvas is still the same. I'm going to paint my same art on that canvas. So, um, you know, the biggest thing is when. You know, do I want to fight sooner or do I want to fight later? It's that's another one. You know, a stack card is amazing. Fighting on a stack card is great, but I don't want to steal the thunder off of them. You know, I'd rather. I mean, I don't know. At this point, I really don't care. Right now, I'm just, like I said, staying focused. I'm staying really hungry, making sure that I'm staying sharp. Uh, I'm hungry, I mean, by, like, literally hungry, like fast food hungry. I'm eating <laughs> everything, which is fucking terrible. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, and I try to I try to laugh a little bit and, and enjoy family life right now before everything gets crazy. So um, yeah, I'm aiming, like I said, for fall. Um, an opponent, I'm sure, will come up. I guarantee you, you know, UFC is really great. And Sean Shelby and Dana, they're really great at putting fights together. So uh, you guys won't be disappointed, I'm sure, for sure. Tony, how possible is it you versus Kevin Lee for the interim title at UFC 216 in October? Mm, it would be a decent fight. I mean, stylistically, I know I got this dude on hand, but, uh, I mean, if he wants to train for it, I mean, shit, it'd be down too. I mean, it's interesting to see how ties change. It goes from Kevin Lee to from Khabib to Kevin Lee. But, uh, like I said, whoever wants to sign up on the dotted line is who's going to get it. And uh, if it's for the interim title belt, let's do it. If you end up fighting Kevin Lee instead of Habib, do you almost never want to hear about the guy again? And, and you know, I, I want to say that, of course, you are going to hear about him because he's, he's, he's at the top of your division, as are you. You know, both of you guys are right there. And, and so you're never really going to be completely rid of one another unless, you know, one of you to change weight classes or something. But He needs to retire. He needs to retire. 
He needs to not move up a weight class because he's going to get eaten up by hands. He needs to retire. Go do your own thing. Yeah. I mean, I would just think that as if, if you are saying, yes, I'll fight you, Habib, in October or November, if he doesn't agree to that, I would just think that just from a personal standpoint, you would almost want to write the guy off. Is that sort of where you're at? Or, or is it because the fans want to see that fight so much that, that you always know it's a possibility? It's a great super fight. It's a great super fight story. So, I mean, in the makings of it, yeah, of course, there's a lot of buildup in it. But uh, I would have to want to see the fans want to get interested in it. You know what I mean? If it's not going to happen for this or anytime soon, if we're going to have that super fight, I think the fans would want to pay for that one. I mean, that would have to be a main event pay-per-view card stacked with a card. My my undercard being mm. stacked. I mean, like with, with some highlight people, the ones that are out there like doing the Imanari roles and really putting it out there. The young up-and-coming fighters, you know what I mean? Not the OGs that are out there, you know, that are slow and have no cardio or conditioning. You know what I mean? Put, put us up there with like some up-and-coming talent that's going to Make the UFC shine again, man. Like I said, we're trying to make the UFC great again. It was great to see John Jones and Cormier go out there and squash that. <laughs> you know, I can only hope that Khabib gets his <laughs> together. And, you know, we don't have any more <laughs> Tiramisu Tuesdays because, you know, my creativity is great, but I'm running out of <laughs> ideas here. You know what I mean? So yeah, let's well, go, you, Khabib, you need to get your <laughs> together. You asked me earlier if, uh, you know, if we're sick of it, if we're sick of talking about this fight. And you know what? No one ever gets sick of, of Christmas Eve. I mean, the, the anticipation of getting, you know, what you want the following day. There's, n- everybody loves Christmas Eve, but then they get Christmas. You know, if we're never going to get Christmas and we're only going to get, get Christmas Eves, I think we are better off just just writing the whole thing up. Just say Christmas is canceled this year, Tony. Just tell us so that we don't get our hopes up anymore about Habib versus Tony <laughs> and Madison Square Garden because that, to a lot of people, is Christmas. You know what? We can't tell them that Christmas is off. You know, we need to talk about... We need, to, we need to go out there and pollute Ali Abdelaziz's Twitter and Khabib and say Khabib Chump. And you need to fight Tony Ferguson. We need to start like a rampage going on and hit that wave like it was when everybody was booing at the, at the main event the other night. You know, we need to start something like that. If you guys want to see this fight, you guys need to get off your ass and start being a little bit more vocal on Twitter and telling these guys that you need to fight Ferguson. You need to quit running away. You know, Team Khabib is Team Tiramisu. 